Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Lane and Royals. Hope you're doing well. Today I am really excited again to be cutting another clutch of eggs. This is going to be clutch number three of 2019. Alright, so this is going to be the most highly anticipated clutch for me of 2019. I know I'm only three clutches in so far in the season, but this is so, so exciting for me because I've been wanting to make Orange Dreams for so long. Um, Orange Dream is what drew me into the hobby, and not only will I be making Orange Dreams, but I have a 25% uh, chance of making Super Orange Dreams. And there's other genes in the pairing as well. There's going to be Pastel, Spider, Enchi, Yellowbelly, and Pinstripe. Uh, there's Orange Dream on both sides. So the father and mother both carry the Orange Dream gene. So I'm super excited. I can't bear the weight anymore. So let's just get to it. I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely anxious and excited to get this going. So here they are beautiful eggs and we can see there's one that pipped uh, let's see yeah it looks like it's just one but you know they all made it to the end of incubation so we'll start with this one I did see a very light color head but it went back in almost immediately I am expecting to see a ton of orange in here and I will accept nothing less than a bunch of orange. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh my God, look how bright this thing is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This got to be a spinner something I mean there's hardly any pattern on there very spotty just a bunch of dots and dashes uh, I wish the head came back out oh, there it is right there in that corner man I wonder what that is Wow look how bright it is so light in color Whew. that's exciting. All right, moving on to the next one. Let's see what this one reveals. So far that one is very bright. I'm looking for intense orange. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So anybody who's watching egg cutting for the first time, you will see a little bit of blood, but that's okay. It's not injuring or harming the animal, no pain to the animal. It's just the blood vessels that surrounds the egg. And oh my God, look at that. Look at how intense orange it is. Oof, man. Looks very similar to the dad. And the dad is a inchy orange dream yellow belly pinstripe oh man oh man that is so bright so far i cannot tell if anything with either of those are super orange dream but definitely that is the aim i want to hit something super here we go number three this is a really big egg, by the way. I've noticed that um, hatchlings from larger eggs tend to do better at their first feeding than those that come out of small eggs. And you can see this one, very bright as well. There is the head right there, there's the nose. Not as 
orange as this one over here, but a little darker than that first one right there. Ooh, that is pretty sweet. This one looks like a pinstripe. Spinner. Probably a pinstripe. I don't know. I, I can't even guess at these. That is a very nice and pretty heavy, pretty chunky guy right there. All right, moving on, number four. Man, I wish there was more eggs I could be cutting forever. This is absolutely, <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh man, this one is bright as well. Oh my, oh my God, this one has almost no pattern, no dark pattern, unless I'm just looking at the belly. What? What is this? I, I don't understand. How can it have no pattern? How can it be just a yellow snake? This. <laughs> what is going on? That is one to watch out for when it crawls out of the egg. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, there's, you know, there's there's spider and there's pinstripe in the mix. I'm expecting spinners to all look like, you know, something like this or something like this, where it's very, very spotty pattern, dark pattern, some webbing, some spots, some dashes or whatever, but Never expected an all yellow snake. I'm gonna have to wait for that one to come out. Wow. So weird. What what could it be? I mean there's I mean there's there's no fire. There's pastel, there's enchi, yellow belly. It's not it's not an ivory. Oh man, I I don't know. All right, that one, that one got, has me all messed up in the head right now. This one, I love these. I love these. I love when there is some pattern, bright colors. I love it when there's huge contrasting colors. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Look at the flaming on the sides. Wow. That is fantastic. It is gorgeous. I'm almost, um, not almost, I, I, I can tell you, I'm, I'm biased. I like contrasting colors over, um, over the blushed out, like diluted colors. All right, what do we got here? Number one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even count. Another one. This one looks very similar to the last one. Wow. Wow. This this one, I'm not gonna open too, too much. You can see it's got a tail like wedged in on the blood vessel between the blood vessels and eggshell so pulling it would just tear those blood vessels even though it doesn't cause any pain or harm um, I'd rather not I can see this little guy is beautiful so we'll just leave him or her as is last one guys this is the smallest one Got a little bit of a mold spot. That's a window right there. All right, 
the smallest one is the last one, sometimes the smallest or those boo bags contain the best. I'm hoping this one will give me something wonderful. And oh, I am seeing something here that is going to be fantastic. Just check this out. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Look at that. This one, I believe, is going to really intensify. This looks like it has spider. I love spider. Um, not going to get into the whole spider debate, but I, I love spider. I hate the wobble, and I think it's basically everybody's responsibility to work with spider to try to breed out that wobble as much as possible even though it is part of the spider gene. I kind of think that's uh, an objective. No matter what, no matter what morph you work with, you want to try to enhance the best qualities and reduce or eliminate any negatives. So anyway, this, this is an awesome clutch. This one is just so orange, so intense. This one is going to be really bright. This one, I have no clue what that is. It's just... <laughs> and these are all beautiful. They are all just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait till they crawl out. And you know what? When they do, I will make sure I make another video. Cleanup video, as always. With every clutch, I do a cleanup video. And then we will see what they look like out of the egg. So that's it. These are going back in the incubator until they all crawl out on their own. So now that they're in the incubator, we'll wait a few days and hopefully they'll all crawl out on their own, at which time I will make another cleanup video showing you what they look like out of the egg. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please give me a like. If you're new to this channel and want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching, please share, and I'll see you guys next time.